These Boy Scouts are not going to gain a great deal of knowledge about astronomy, but the important factor is they're here because they want to be here. Maybe that is more important than all the basic and detailed courses that they could possibly have in this very expensive but obviously very illuminating room. Bill Aber, WKBN News at Youngstown State University. A few years ago, you would have probably been hard pressed to get 15 boys interested in astronomy. How do you, how do you read this reaction? Well, I think part of the uh, reaction is due to the fact that we do have this marvelous planetarium here, and also this being the space age, uh, more and more youngsters are interested and they're involved day to day in the activities of the astronauts and so on and the space probes, and I think this is part of the reason. Do you uh, harbor any uh, illusions it's that more and more of the young people are interested in this as a career? I think more and more so. We receive here at the planetarium uh, several uh, letters uh, every month, uh, uh, serious letters from youngsters really interested in preparing themselves for a career uh, as a scientist, as an astronomer, as a space scientist, and the related areas. What about the uh, young men who you originally had planned to include in this program? You've now cut it to Mahoning County. What about the others? Well, we're going to make uh, available later on this summer uh, the planetarium for uh, merit badge, the astronomy merit badge for the Warren area, for the Newcastle area, and for the Mercer County area. All three areas in the last few days have been asking me why they have been excluded. And the reason is simply because of the enormous response we've gotten from this area. And we can only seat 128 here at the planetarium at any one time. Boy Scouts uh, have always been uh, kind of the outdoorsmen. This almost makes you feel like you're cheating a little bit. <laughs> well, uh, perhaps, but the cloudy weather, which uh, we so often have in this area, and the unreliable cloud uh, weather conditions, I think <clears throat> that the boys will really get uh, a realistic look at the sky uh, here in the planetarium. You don't have any way of giving them a camp out in yet, do you? Um, no, not yet. <laughs> Some time ago, the Boy Scout councils in this area decided that maybe they could use YSU's planetarium for the Boy Scout merit badge concerning astrology. Well, before there was any advertising, they already had a crammed room with just the Mahoning Valley Council. Ted Peters operates the planetarium. He says this reaction by the young men is symbolic of our space age. Can you describe the show uh, on UFOs? What will it show? Well, we're talking about uh, modern UFO reports, reports made in the last 25 years. We'll be investigating, looking at some of the photographs from some of the more interesting UFO reports. And then we'll talk about the ancient, alleged ancient UFO reports. For example, things like the ones described in the television special in Search of Ancient Mysteries a couple of weeks ago. Why do you think people seem to be fascinated with uh, talking about UFOs? Well, people are interested in life elsewhere in the universe. They tend to, you know, identify with something out there similar to them. I think some of the interest in UFOs uh, is similar to man's interest in, the, in religion, in the, you know, something out in the universe besides himself. And due to its popularity, the weekend show is already booked up. It runs through March. From Youngstown State University, George Ellis, WKBN News. Because there's no air. But there's an awful lot of planets out there. Maybe there's one, you know, several light years away that might have life. But there's no water, neither. Do you think there's life on other planets? Yes. Why? Well, because of all the information they've recently found about Jupiter and Saturn. What do you think these forms of life will look like? Probably just small little organisms, most likely. You are the lecturer here at the planetarium. Do you think there's life on other planets? I, along with uh, most scientists and astronomers, believe that there is probably not only life, but that, a life, that life is abundant in the universe. I think it's very silly for us to think that we're the only ones here on the planet Earth. What do you think these forms of life on other planets might look like? Well, probably on Mars we would find microorganisms, very, very elementary types of life. On the other planets, I think uh, our imaginations uh, should be the criteria that we should use. Do you think there's life on other planets? As yet, we do not know. But what do you think? Well, it's possible that there is in some planets that we have not discovered yet. What do you think these forms of life will look like? Well, that we don't know either. Prob they could be as us, 
or as Martians, as we uh, have heard about them. What about small life? Insects, you mean, and animals? It would be wonderful if there is, and we almost will feel like that is someone, something like the Earth that we live on. And probably next week, we may have our first indication of life in the universe because uh, Viking will be landing on the planet Mars on Tuesday, and hopefully we'll be getting back our first information. But generally speaking, I believe that uh, life probably is abundant in the universe. What do you think these forms of life look like? To think of life as we know it here on the planet Earth.